Hello everyone, this is X-Evolution, and I'm here with FTL Captain's Edition Season 2, Episode 2. It's my new naming convention I'm gonna go with. I might change it later, we'll see. But, I like it for now. We are in... I forget what sector this is called already. We're in a new sector, the Zeta 5 I think it was called. See if I can check that out. The Zeta 5, that's correct. Alright, it's a green sector, which means it's more likely to be nice people, I guess. I've noticed that the uh, layout is a little different on here. The doors in uh, this room here it used to have four doors, it only has two now. Which I believe means it will take longer to vent the ship. So far, everything's going pretty well. We uh, have five weapon power, two shields, bars. Uh, we've got a decent amount of crew from that first sector. Engine power needs to need some upgrades. I uh, maybe look for a system. But for now, things are going well. So the Zeta Five sector. Let's find out what kind of sector this actually is. Let's socialize with the crew. Humanoid crew. Nothing. Oh, wait. Uh. Alright, so... We're gonna find some slavers in the sector. All the way over here by the exit again, that's very nice. It makes it easy for me to decide on what to do. Which is just go there. Hello! Uh, your communicator opens a hail from a nearby ship. Our weapon systems are malfunctioning and we're too afraid of pirates to travel home unassisted. Can you escort us? Yeah, we'll escort them for free three fuel. Oh, uh, there's a store here, the Distress Beacon. Store is out of the question for now. This Distress Beacon, on the other hand, is not. Flood their ship with oxygen. We got 11 scrap. Excellent. Through the nebula, slow down the rebel fleet. They advance at, I think, 50% speed while you're in a nebula. As long as it's not a nebula sector, just a nebula beacon. This drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for the rebel expansion, or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hostile. This enemy seems to be equipped with a combat augment. It deploys a jamming field that disrupts your weapon targeting systems. Alright, so I'm glad I have level 2 shields at least. It doesn't have any other weapons besides these drones. That drone, I'm not sure if it's a stunning or an effector or what. So far, every time I see one, it doesn't seem to do anything. But anyway, I'll start by targeting two on the shields. Alright, that should be good. Now I'm going to put this one on piloting. I don't feel threatened by these drones. Which is my reasoning here. Now this one go on engines. This unit, this unit remains shall not fall into the hands of the enemy. A tremendous spike in the enemy's FTL signature warns you that its core de containment has been shut off. This is going to sting. Are you sure it's going to sting? I don't think it's going to sting. At least not me. Cause you're dead. One dro or one missile, one drone part, and 20 scrap. Decent reward. Fly through the nebula still. Every two jumps gives you an extra jump in total. A few seconds after you arrive, you are fired on from within the clouds. A rebel turret has been left behind to guard this beacon. It has an ion... F uh, I think it's an ion flak and a beam. Depending on where that landed on my doors, no big deal going to do the standard, fire both on shields first, do it again because the shields are still in line, alright, switch over to piloting, and weapons for now, that's good, 
Piloting is offline. Switch back to shields for a little bit. Simulations show a high chance of terminal failure for this station. Be advised that Rebel Tech will never be left to the enemy. FTL overload activated. This AI is going to blow itself up. I don't think it can blow me up with all of its systems destroyed. Two fuel, one missile, and 17 scrap. Nearby we have another distress beacon. Another distress beacon. The quest. So my plan it looks like I'm going to be going to this distress here. Quest. Here. Four, five. Oh man, I don't even know how many jump jumps I have. We go here, here, five, six, seven, eight. Do I have eight jumps? One, two, three. Actually, this next jump is going to be like out to here or something. So, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think I have eight jumps. How do I want to do this? I want to get both the quests at least. So I'll go like this. One here, two, three, four, five, and then I'll decide from there. Aha! I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap! It appears this distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush. Well, these pirates are going to regret the day they messed with the red tail. When did I open that? Did I just open that right now? Oh, their shields are down already. I feel sorry for you, son. I got 99 problems, but no shields ain't one. Let's pound down their piloting. Oh man, with only two crew on, on that ship, I don't know how they expected to beat anyone. One missile, one drone, and 19 scrap. As judge, jury, and executioner, your ending attack finishes these pirates off, earning them a sentence of fire. That sounds... I wish I had made that up because that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> you collect their scorched components and charge the FTL drive. Oh, there's a store here. That's nice. I have 72 scrap. I could uh, tar cargo teleport to get some goods cheap. Which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to get some luxury goods. Oh, there's an advanced flat gun one. What does that do? Advanced is reduced cooldown. Oh, man. Advanced ion burst two. That's even better. Man, now I wish I hadn't bought those uh, goods. Usually when I enter the store without buying anything, I don't regret it. And this time I did. Man, oh well. I would love to get both this and the advanced flak, but I would rather have the advanced ion burst at this time. That's three ion damage in 11 seconds. That's like once every three point something seconds. That's really good. That's better than an ion burst three or ion blast three from the vanilla game. Hmm. What a shame. Maybe I'll make a bunch of money off this luxury goods. Five whole points repair. That's it. Oh, and another shop. Okay. Um. Nothing here. 
Well, let's check out the other quest. Maybe the Distress Beacon. Ooh, a Brutal Burst Laser 1. Brutal, man. Brutal. I believe Brutal does more damage to crew. Yeah, 15 crew damage, as you can see there. It does do two shots. In the same amount of time. That means that my next upgrade is going to be a weapon system upgrade. To the quest here. Hmm. You arrived at the presumed location of the slaver's hideout, which is actually nowhere to be found. Have your crewman point you in the right direction. Your crewman takes a look at the system map. They were always rumors claiming they'd be hiding within the atmosphere of this gas giant. Another dedicated scan verifies these rumors. Get us into orbit. Take, let's take down some slavers. The slaver station becomes visible within the clouds. Their weapons come to life immediately. Alright. They hack my med bay, no big deal. NBD, man. And let's go with on the shields. Oh, their laser hit. That room's on fire. Mantis, you can handle it, right? No, I, I don't think you can. Why don't you just go hide over here? The medbay's on fire, so I'd rather not have you die. Alright, their weapons are fully offline. Their shields are coming back online, though. Let's switch one back over here. You can go repair that door system now. Alright, the slaver checkpoint, or pirate checkpoint, is offline. We have three field two missiles and 20 scrap. The slaver station breaks apart. I waited a long time for this, Captain. They will never harass this sector again. None of the slaves could have been saved. Your crewman stares at the rec station's wreckage for a long time. I probably should have boarded if I wanted to save the slaves. But oh well. I don't have a crew teleporter. Let's get this mantis finished on the doors and then we'll heal him up. Hmm. Five more scrap for a weapon controller upgrade. A hundred or thirty scrap, I should say, if the seventy-five plus twenty-five for an actual full upgrade to it. Interesting. Save positions just because he did that weird move. And over here, and then to the exit. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by pirate ship. They, sh uh, the ship hastily messages you, stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on. Let's attack the pirate. You asked for it. They pull away from the planet and move in to engage. What do they have here? They have some kind of ion, I think. Yeah, they have an ion. Let's look at an ion blast one. And a heavy scatter, heavy scatter laser. Go on the shields. And some kind of hold ripper drone, I think. No, that's a. That's one of those missile stunning ones. Okay. Let's see what that hits on. Let's go here. My pilot just got stunned. My weapons crew just got stunned. Looks like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. And they're done for. You pick through the remains and contact the settlement. With the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there's... 
There'll just be another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon enough. Sorry, we can't give you more. That's alright, you guys You guys gave what you could, and we appreciate it, and we were happy to help. So I do have enough to get my weapons upgrades and the power bar upgrade. So I will. I need to upgrade weapons, or not weapons, engines soon. But I'm really glad to have this brutal burst laser online. After I send everyone back to the post, then I have the power available. Alright. And the last jump of the sector, we have... You've arrived at a long-range relay. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You arrived at the next beacon only to be immediately hailed by a small shuttle. Help us, we're being attacked by pirates! Let's aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. They have an effector and a burst scatter laser. I have a chance of taking hull damage here, but that's about it. Ah, the shields are already down. Nice. Oh, it's not even a Fector, it's, uh, it's the stunning one. The pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the remains of the ship. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought I saved them. Alright, let's get an engine upgrade and a power bar. Like that. And for our next sector, in episode 3, we will have either the Fielkaz Cloning Labs or the Expedition Camp 9. Hmm. I wonder if I should start asking the audience whether I go to this one, or I, whether I go to Filka's cloning labs or the expedition camp and not record the next episode until I get responses. Until then, I mean, until I decide on that, I'm just going to continue picking like I am now. Mostly because I don't have enough people actually responding to my... or in, in the comments. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Filkaz Cloning Labs. It sounds like something that's Mantis-based. So having... Uh, this ship is actually pretty good against boarding just because of the layout. It allows easy venting of most important areas. So yeah, let's go there. I hope you enjoyed episode 2. Stay tuned for episode 3. I'm X Evolution. Have a good day.